On today's episode, we're going to be discussing weather. Well, what is weather? Weather is the conditions of the atmosphere at a certain time and place. These conditions include temperature, the amount of water vapor in the air, wind, and air pressure. Who studies the weather? Well, all humans on Earth are generally curious about the weather so that they can make plans according to the weather. Meteorologists are scientists that gather information about the temperature, water vapor, wind, and air pressure. They use this information to try to guess what the weather will do. What is temperature? Temperature is how hot or cold the air is. How is temperature measured? Temperature is measured with a thermometer. As you can see here, a thermometer looks like this. A thermometer is sometimes filled with alcohol or it could be filled with mercury and it's measured in degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. What is wind? Wind is the movement of air on Earth. How is wind measured? An anemometer measures the speed of the wind. This is an anemometer. A wind vane can tell you the direction that the wind is blowing. This is a wind vane. What is air pressure? Air pressure is the weight of air as it presses down on Earth. Air pressure is measured by a barometer. Air pressure that is measured over the course of time is measured using a barograph. In addition to the tools that we've already discussed, meteorologists use a variety of other tools to interpret the weather. A rain gauge measures the amount of precipitation that has fallen in a particular area. Weather balloons measure the weather in different altitudes. And a windsock measures the strength of the wind that is blowing. Since weather all over the Earth is different from one location to the next, meteorologists use a variety of tools to interpret that information and they communicate it to the public. A weather forecast is a statement or a prediction of the weather that has yet to occur. If you ever watch the news, you can see that they sometimes use special correspondents who are on location who can communicate the weather as it's occurring in a specific location. Meteorologists use a variety of symbols to indicate the weather that has yet to occur. An air mass is a large body of air that has about the same temperature, air pressure, and moisture. Two conditions are used to describe air masses, temperature and humidity. Air masses are either warm or cold, moist or dry. Most changes in weather happen when one air mass moves into a place and pushes out another air mass. The place where two air masses meet is called a front. A cold front forms as cold air meets a warm air mass. The cold air moves under the warm air, pushing it up. As the warm air rises, clouds form and precipitation occurs. Thunderstorms often happen along a cold front. A warm front forms as a warm air mass pushes into a cold air mass. The warm air slowly moves up over the cold air. Layers of gray clouds and steady precipitation are seen when a warm front moves into an area. Meteorologists utilize information gathered by weather satellites so that they can detect severe weather and warn the public so they can plan accordingly. Hurricanes can even be seen from space. Tornadoes are rapidly turning columns of air that can cause great destruction and they can occur with little warning. Hmm, what is climate? Climate is the average weather conditions of a specific location over the course of time. Climate is much more predictable than predicting the weather. Climates vary throughout the Earth. A polar climate is cold most of the year. A tropical climate is warm and wet throughout most of the year. A desert does not receive much precipitation, if at all. And a temperate climate is known for having four very distinct seasons. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teacher store. Head on over to our Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest boards. Head on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like this one. And head over to our blog at www.bowtegaimwife.com.